guys i am the natural girl hope you all have a had a wonderful holiday uh right now i guess i'm about to show you what product i use and i just did a simple uh two strand twist throughout my hair and i used the african pride all right so that's what i'm trying right now i did the african pride I use this on my hair and I try to attempt to do my hair in a flat twist out and my hair didn't completely dry for the twist out so therefore my hair didn't come out the way that I would like for it had to come out so I just went on instead of doing the flat twist I did a simple twist out and so right now on camera I'm going to show you the results from this African Pride and this is the Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding Set. Let's see what it's about. Alright, so I, I can't find my oil. My oil that I normally use to do twist outs that I had mixed up myself. So therefore, I'm going to use the Life Organics Healthy Hair Oil Shane. Let's see if that. So I'm what I'm going to do. Cause I'm going to spray it in my hand. So, to the side. And I'm just gonna rub it out and I'm just gonna just rub this on my hair. And once again I am thinking about cutting my hair. I don't know why. I'm really trying to keep my promise I had to myself not to cut my hair. But I don't know how long that's gonna last. I'm thinking about putting some more braids in it. I did have box braids in my hair, and I took them down maybe, I think, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago, yes, yeah, something like that, but, alright, so I'm just gently massaging my scalp with the oil and throughout, I'm going to start in the back, and you're going to take down a twist starting from the end, and you just want to unwind it just like that. And this right here, if you just start at the ends, this was and just unwind it from around each other, just like this. This will kind of help it from disturbing the uh, curl pattern. So that's why it's important not to borrow. And I can ho hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so my hair is growing, but it's just like these ends. I have to keep cutting my ends. I just don't like the way they feel, so I don't know. I'm just simply unwinding it just like that. And I am using my other camera. Alright. Hope you, you all can see this well. I don't know if maybe I have about a, I want to say maybe, is it 15 or 20 twists in my hair? I don't know if you will see. I don't like when my ends look like that. I mean, I don't like that. I'm thinking about cutting some more of it off. I had a cut maybe. I want to say maybe an inch and a half, maybe a couple of months ago, and they go right back to its limit, just about, almost. Even when you start doing your um, single twist, wherever you would like the hair to lay, 
You want to twist in that direction. Impossible. I think I took them all down. No, I didn't. All right, so some might just like to leave it like this. We're not sticking them like this, but some like this. But I opt to take it, uh, separate the hair some more, just to give it a little value. And you want to simply just take it from the end and separate. And I kind of like doing it like that kind of keep the curls in there because once you start separating the hair you will experience softness so I just like to separate and you can separate um, I mostly sometimes separate between three times so Um, so you want to separate the hair just like this. So this is all well uh, around around each other. I'm just gonna separate that. Let me get that fullness going on. Alright, so I don't know if you can see it, but simply you just want to take your hands and just massage your scalp to help separate those parts. And I did have it over here, something like this. I just really like you can't see it. But just play around with the hair. I'm just like gently fluffing the curls to the way I want them to lay.
sagen jetzt einmal. And what sometimes what I like to do is in the front, just separate it maybe twice. So, you know, you have that curl definition in the front. And it's just giving you like a chunky twist out look. And I use my fingers as a comb or pick. So you just kind of just go in just like that. So. This is the look, and I like the way it's laying. It makes like, this shape, and I love that shape when it comes to a twist out. So, I guess I keep playing around with it. But this is the final look with the uh, African Pride. Let's see, let's see. I don't want to get the name wrong. Shea Butter Miracle, and this is the Bouncy Curl Pudding, and this is the look. So, I mean, hope you can see this. My lighting is it's not really that good right now. Um, but I'll take pictures so you can see it more. But uh, African Pride, I like it. Um, I just, I don't know, my hair is just really it's not holding a nice chance. I like, um, I don't know, it's kind of showing that way in the camera. But anyhow. This is the final look with the African Pride. Um, Alright, I'll take pictures. And you can also go on my Facebook page because I'm pretty much active on that channel. Facebook.com forward slash I am the natural girl.com. I definitely put pictures up there if you want to see the look. But I'll try to put it in the video too. Alright, y'all. See you next time. Bye.